Hey guys, before I start the review, I'm, I got something added to my poster collection. I got a poster for Grown Ups 2. I'm so happy to have this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hang this up right on my wall. So, uh, Oh, that sucks. Well, I guess since um, this part is ripped off, I can just rip off this part and maybe this one. Uh, yeah, that's probably good. It's probably, it's probably for the best. Now, Grown Ups 2 is a sequel to the big blockbuster hit back in 2010. And unlike most people, I liked the first Grown Ups. I mean, it was nothing great, but it was nothing terrible. I mean, I had some good laughs, I was entertained. I mean, I don't know why people hate it on this movie so much. I really don't. Like, whenever I was watching, whenever every single review I read or watched on YouTube, they were just talking about how crappy it was. I'm like, it's not that bad. But I can't agree with them that it was so stupid that they made a sequel to this movie. But then again, Hollywood has no ideas left, so we got a sequel to this movie. Now this one stars, of course, all of the guys back in the first one. Except for Rob Schneider for some random reason. And this one, Adam Sandler and his family moved back to Adam Sandler's hometown when he was a kid. And him and his friends just throw a party, and it's also filled with a bunch of other plot holes. Seriously, there are just so many different stories in this movie, I can't really describe a plot for this one. It was kind of the same thing with the first one, but the first one had more of a plot than this one did. And also, weird thing is, I actually do like all these actors. I love Adam Sandler. I think he's really funny. He's made some great movies, like Happy Gilmore, Big Daddy, Billy Madison. But it seems like now he's just making a bunch of crap. Jack and Jill! I mean, seriously, Adam Sandler, what the hell are you thinking with that movie? I love Kevin James, too. I loved him in the, the TV show that he was in called The King of Queens. I think he's funny. I've loved a lot of his movies. But just... What are they thinking with, with this movie? Like, what the hell? But then again, he has done also crappy movies like Zookeeper and quite a few other movies. And I'm not mentioning Paul Blart. I like Paul Blart. Don't judge me. Chris Rock, I don't love all of his movies pretty much any of his movies, but I think he's okay, he's not bad. And David Spade, I've always loved for some reason, especially if you've seen The Benchwarmers. Again, shut up, I love The Benchwarmers. And the other co-stars, I like them, like Salma Hayek, Stone Cold Steve Austin's also in this movie. I, mean, I gotta admit, I was pretty entertained with that. And of course, um, actors from the first one, like there's you got Steve Buscemi, and you got new ones like Taylor Lawner, and, and you got Shaquille O'Neal, he was okay in this movie, and other, other comedy actors and had massive productions like Nick Swartzen. And you also got a lot of popular comedy actors who usually do funny movies. Were they like freaking drunk when they made this? I'm not saying that this movie was completely bad, it did have some funny moments. I did laugh a few times, there were a few good jokes like there were in the first one, and I thought it was I thought it was kind of cool to like bring back like old memories from the first one, because I thought that was pretty clever. But all the other jokes just are terrible. It's either stuff we've seen a million times, or it's stuff that Adam Sandler just thinks is hilarious, but they're not funny at all. Like the beginning scene, that whole scene that you saw in the trailer with the deer, it literally goes on for five minutes. And I was literally thinking, Oh crap, is this going to be the rest of the movie? Because that scene was so stupid, so unfunny, I was thinking I would end up walking out of the movie in like the first half hour. Luckily, some scenes got a little bit more entertaining, but not much. And of course, it also added the stupid cliches and some other plots were just so stupid and predictable and stuff that we've seen so many times. Come on, Adam Sandler, I know you can do better than this. But overall, I did not like Grown Ups 2. Adam Sandler cannot defend you much anymore. I mean, I did like most of the movies that everyone bashed on. I thought Chuck and Larry was okay. I did hate you Don't Mess With The Zohan. But, I mean, some of his movies aren't terrible as they're marketed as. But this one is definitely a bad one. And it should be marketed as bad. Sorry, Sandler. I'll be giving Grown Ups 2 a D. That is my review of Grown Ups 2, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm Lucas Stringer. I'll see you guys tomorrow for my Money in the Bank predictions.